Weird Science is the revolution. Detective Comics, number 1080. It is the end of the intermezzo. Intermezzo. (laughs) What a pretentious prick. You end up where I liked this intermezzo a little more at the beginning. And then it started like, okay, it didn't need to be this many issues. What's going on with the whole Batman and the Ocean's Eleven trying to get him saved, not hanged and all that. So when you get to this, you get a reveal that I think lessens the heist a bit. I thought that the, you know, Catwoman and all were kind of smart, but they had an inside guy, maybe. But the whole play of this is, uh, yeah. Is Prince Arzen working with Catwoman? I get, he's not working with shit now. He's dead. So there you go. I think he was. I don't think he was. I don't think, was there anything that led up to it besides for the fact that he had a little narration to himself or just talking out loud to an unconscious bad moment? Man, I wish I didn't have to kill you, Bruce. We're kindred spirits, but you know what? You still got to hang my boy. To me, what he said in this, even when she was talking back and forth, because he doesn't say much, but I do think that he came up with the plan with Catwoman to listen. We don't really. I well, said it all along. We have to hang him, but we don't have to kill him. Yeah, you didn't even have to have Bruce. Like, put somebody else in that suit and hang up. You didn't need to have it be Bruce Wayne, but you end up having that. And he didn't want Bruce Wayne to die. They were going to spirit him away. Everything would be fine. Nobody would know. I think he was involved, but not knowing that, and now finding out, it lessens. I think what Catwoman and the others did. I think he was the one who came up with what Azrael well, yeah, was it's, doing. It's not right? Catwoman's plan. It's his plan. Isn't it funny? He's like. The only thing I want to say, I don't know about your plan, but can you please have Azrael in a truck and it, it like it gets in an, an accident and then he blows up out there? And does uh, But by the end of this, going back into the Batman book, I'm like, I, I don't know. And it's funny because some people were saying, oh, man, like this isn't going to be good. I don't want to have a detective comics where Batman's not doing anything. And I said, well, <laughs> according to Eric Shea, that's been <laughs> happening for two years because <laughs> That's all that's happened. Yeah, that's all that's happened. And, and it continues. This will, and and it was announced by Ram V. The on one Twitter. issue where he actually did anything was when he was actually in the organ place and it blowed up on him. Yeah, he did that. I liked when he was like running around to the different, hey, I'm going to go to that ice cream shop because I need well, to remember things. I, I I don't know why I like that more than the others. That was the beginning of this intermezzo. But yes. as I was saying, Ram V had announced that. Uh, he is going to be on this book till 10,089 or 1,089. Yeah. 1089 yes. is when he's, so he is nine forever. <laughs> the funny thing when he says that people are like, Oh, and he's like, I will finish our one long story. That's going to be almost 30 issues. And people, Oh man, only nine more issues. I'm like, Oh shit. Nine more issues. Shut up. I thought that it was like nine please. more issues. People get six issues for an Two arc. more issues. Please. I, I don't need it, but you end up having this and we're going to get things thrown at us again like the thalamus engine the reality engine at least it's doing something now that batman's been hung now it is it because it almost feels like what it's doing is just that people are moving on with their lives it doesn't really feel like to me that because at one point i can understand that though because in the background the thalamus engine the reality engine it's supposed to create a gotham the way that they want it without a batman and now that the people have seen this the reality engine is working it's would you would you magic on them they're thinking that, yeah, like, you know, it wasn't a big deal, almost to the point where Batman was a myth, but there still are these stirrings, these people saying that they do see people in bat suits, like a Batgirl and Asbat who are proud of the knights, and why would a man wear a bat suit? To me, Thalamus engine on the right hand, and the idea that people watch Batman get hanged and died, I think both work the same way of, hey, no Batman. And in that, you have a play, and we'll get to the full deal, but when they say, oh my god, the bat signal hasn't been lit, now... No shit, he's dead. They think, why would you light it? What do you think, a fucking ghost is going to show up? Well, There's you, no you reason to light it. city of bats out there, a whole bat family will show That's up. That's not what, GCPD do not deal with them. They deal with Batman. That's the bat signal, and they're not going to deal with just random people who they kind of see in bat suits. I don't think it works that way. And uh, even with it being this kind of non-Jim Gordon deal, they, they're so against Batman. And again, yeah, who, who's been really lighting the bat signal this whole time for the like the like the way that R- Renee Montoya has been running things? They shouldn't. They shouldn't be. There, there wouldn't be any reason to. So that's like the wow moment that didn't wow me. Got to get back in that no face mask. That's the way of the world right now. Yeah, there it is. she has a question to answer. Uh, this is the uh, Batman uh, 1080, written by Ram V, art oh, by now Jason Sean Alexander and Mike Perkins, Dave Stewart, 
and Ariana Mayer. You have two artists on this, but Mike Perkins' style fits the Jason Sean Alexander as well, so it works out. But I love the play here, and it almost reminds me of like a Neil Adams deal. Anybody who shows up, they are like losing their minds. Like any sort of emotion becomes elevated by 7 million. People are screaming. They're losing their mind. And we do get Two-Face. And that was something that you have been wanting to get. so badass in this. We only get a little bit of him, but the freaking like two pages that he's on, he is stealing the show as far as I'm concerned. Well, and I, I know that everybody right away when you start out where, okay, they're trying to get Batman out of the city. They're trying to get. Batman to tell you they're trying to get him to what looks like is going to be taken off on a boat. Gordon's driving. He's running into problems. They're trying to stop him. They end up kind of getting, they they crash. They end up getting hit. And then all of a sudden, everybody's like, oh my god, Niang showed up. Like, some of these characters, I still don't know. I swear this guy just showed up for the first time last issue. Yeah, and the only reason I know because at some point I'm like, is that just Gail Tenklaw with a different mask? But then in this, you have Two-Face mention you know, Niang, but then also say if that wolf man is around, I, I want a piece of him. What the fuck is he doing? The wolf man. And so you have that where he's licking his wounds from being blown up by Azrael. I guess. And you have, you know, Two Face say, You guys screwed with me. I'm gonna help out. I wasn't gonna help Catwoman, but I think that this works out. I'm I'm gonna do this. And and does mention that there's no Harvey. This is all just two faces. See, okay. see when the cat woman asked me for help rescuing the bat, I thought to myself, why should I? Goody goody Harvey isn't making the calls anymore. Besides, I already pulled Batman's shit out of the fire once. I'm out of good deeds. But then she reminded me how things went down and I said to myself, I do have a bone or two to pick with you and your family. Look at us, a bit to reset. You should, like, you should have stayed hidden dead. My name is Two Face. Yeah. Oh, he loses his mind, and maybe like a lot of spit. You know, seriously. And Tony, he's there with his boys against the freaking Orgum's boys right here. He is keeping a blockade so Catwoman and Gordon can get Batman away, and even blows up the bridge behind them to make sure that their escape is covered. Man, it's weird because I didn't get the lay of the land where they were there, and I'm like, okay, were they on the bridge? Were they before the bridge? After the bridge? He just blows up the bridge, and they're able to go. And I, I don't know. I, I would think that they'd have more people around the city, but there's free and clear. But it's all narration. It took me a while to get city. through this. Well, they're going to get to the docks again and give the body a Batman to Talia. And uh, I don't know. I didn't like this part. Between, I'm telling you, it's like anything that Selena says to tell you, she's going to twist to be something else. And it just keeps going back. No, and I agree. I think it's I hate their interactions between each other because it's just like, you know, both vying for Batman's affections at this point. Who loves him more? And how how is he going to love them back for what they're doing right now? It's just this whole back and forth, like you said, that really goes nowhere. But Talia just takes Batman and moves on. We, we fill up with some panels, maybe a page or two, and it doesn't matter in the long run. No, and 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 so, like, the talk is, matter. like, are you going to go and heal him? No, he's going to heal himself. Uh, uh, okay. Right, uh, cool. uh, is he going to come back to the city back to me? No, he's going to come back to the city for himself. <laughs> like, oh, even this whole thing here. Fuck up. Catwoman starts out. He's still alive, but we can't wake him yet. Do you think he's okay in there? Do you think he's still fighting it? I have never known him to be the sort to give in. Yeah. Okay. And, like, okay. Uh, and they broke him. Will you make him better? He'll make himself better. Oh, uh, okay. It's like All each right. time, it's like, you, why are you agreeing with me with a little side swerve to make it Gordon, seem like I'm not involved? So fuck you. Gordon shows bitch. up. They're still coming after us. Talia says, it will never stop. <laughs> Actually, what it is. Tell you has to get the last word. She is a bitch. She ends up like they're like, oh my god, this was the craziest thing that ever happened to Gotham. No, it's the craziest thing that ever happened to the world. Like shut the. And then they go. Selena off jumps and- in. Selena jumps in. I brought him this far. Now <laughs> uh, and her subjects here. But you can't take him no farther. You cannot come where he and I must go. Yeah. Tell me you'll bring him back to me. I will try to bring himself, <laughs> like him back to himself. Why are you doing this? It's so crazy. Let me give you a hand. Shut up, Talia. I need a foot. Oh, but, but Jesus even the Christ. idea is, okay, we load Batman's ass into our boat. They sail away to go do whatever Batman has to do to put his ass back together again, Humpty Dumpty style. Then all of a sudden they're attacked. They get freaking shipwrecked. All of a sudden they're castaways trying to float around on a, on a life rope, on a life raft. I'm like, you, you're just going to wind up on Oliver's Island where you have to nurse him back to health. And you're going to save yourself while you're doing it. He's nursing himself back to health. That, that, that's all that will happen. He'll just be everything that happens. Also, they're like, what the hell King Kong get here? You have all this shit going down. 
But yeah, in that, you, like, she's fighting off everybody. The crew, ninjas, then there's a storm. At that point, I think that the boat this sinks rocks. because, yeah, I think that the boat sinks because she's the only one steering it. Like everybody else is dead. And then she's on a, 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 cra- a crazy little raft. Or, and out of nowhere, where, where Gotham has been changed and people have like, you know, forgotten about the Batman. It's only like, you know, myth and legend whispers at this point in time, besides for the other extended Bat family trying to keep the name and the memory alive. He just had Flamingo and Dr. Hurt this fucking lounging around there. I got to get that bad man. Talia's taking him to an island or some shit. And you know what? I need to make his ass into a Barbados, you know, like I want. Which Thanks, he's Dr. kind Hurt. of there. And it looks like, you know, you see that he is still taken over by Barbados. But you ready to go face eater? And then, and then <laughs> so weird. But in that too, you end up having, you know, Arzen and his mom. And they're sitting there. The minute that she starts saying, let's celebrate and drink, I'm like, don't drink that drink, Carson. You're in big trouble. As soon as he takes a sip, I killed your father, you know. <laughs> and she says it. Once she says, ooh, you remind me a lot of your father. I'm like, oh, he's screwed. He's done. Dead. This scene, besides the play of Arzen seemingly helping with Catwoman in the plan, whether it is or not. And I don't get confirmation and it kills me. It's just his mother saying, you had to have helped them. He You're doesn't say now. no. He doesn't say yes either. And he's also like just bubbling shit out. and uh, But it's an okay done scene. I really hope that he had nothing to do with it and she killed her son yeah, for no she reason. She doesn't care. She even says, I could have more husbands and children. I'm, my ass lives forever. So you have that. And if it is real, I, I just think it is because you don't really fight it. Uh, it does lessen the overall deal. But it sh- I think that the play is ours and... He always seemed like he was destined to not really last that long. He, he seemed like he had a little too much feelings and things like I that. I know this is the, the last of the intermezzo and we have to move on from here, but I would have liked him to last at least one more issue to the point where at least in this last issue, we could have a thing where he's thinking back to when Batman said that your mother killed your father and he thought about it and like he realized that the thing was true or did some research, did something to the point where he decided, yes, I'm going to work with Catwoman because we have no real reason besides for, you know, crazy it's Batman and his fucking asthma mind saying something about his father and Rachel Ghoul and it's not what really happened. That's the only thing that we said. You know what? You might be right, guy. Besides for us being kindred spirits, if you being a rich boy and me being a rich boy who want to help the city. Yeah. And then to uh, again. To make it, I guess, Ram V wants to make it bigger, also says, oh, Arson, you didn't know? We have these reality engines, this Salamis engine everywhere. We have it in every city. We could do all this. And I don't know why you even have to do that. I think that Gotham was fine and that was their target. I only get maybe the play, but I don't think it'll happen of. Why are why is the rest of the country letting the shit go down anyway? The government and all Got, that are just Gotham letting it problems. go. Yeah, it's just they just stay away. They're letting they're letting foreign dignitaries come into a city and hang people. I don't know where that's happening except Gotham. But you have that. But the idea of this, oh, we have reality engines all over the place. But then, like you said at the end, you get this play of well, mommy, mommy. We have them, but we haven't done anything with them. That you're they, they have, pretty much they have them in storage, and we have to go grab them and put them in like maybe you know Star City, Hub City, some not big places like that. And I'm like, your name in Hub City is one of your big places. Get the hell out of town. Maybe years ago, maybe, but anymore, get out of town. Yeah. So at the end, you do see that even while people are, yes, they have just that Batman's dead. I think is fine, but they're forgetting about the Batman. Uh, we have the Bat characters. You end up seeing Cass. You see Azrael. They're going around doing some stuff. So. It's kind of keeping it a bit alive, but that again, that almost feels to me like it's like not going over fully what you want to do. But when you have the one, mommy, mommy, tell me why the Batman dresses like a bat. I wanted the mom to just say, because he's a crazy asshole, or how the fuck do I know? Everybody has their reasons. What's a Batman? Like, hey, like, oh, I used to know this, but I forget. I'm like, what, what did you used to know? What, what did you think that people are like talking about of why Batman? dresses like a bat because it would just be them making shit up in their mind anyway they wouldn't really know so i forget what i made shit up before and and then you see the signal and I, like i said the bat signal to me like it hasn't been put on for it hasn't been put on because the whole it's not set up that way anyway so that doesn't do anything for me either but there's barbados batman he's in a rowboat Row, row, row your bat. And then you end up at the end where I thought we were done. And then I'm like, oh, God, now we're at Wayne Manor grounds. 
And we have Renee Montoya. She's going to question the shit up, and she's got to figure out. She's also out. investigating who killed the, like the uh, officer Henry Fielding, which was the most interesting part of this book in my mind. At one point, when he just realized that Bruce Wayne was Batman before his partner it was killed the beginning him, and he of the killed him. Yeah, but again, if she's going to figure out, oh shit, the Orgums did it. Like, okay, like we'll see. Like that, that doesn't seem like that big of a reveal or surprise, but she'll find out and maybe fight back. But I would wonder why, you know, as the police commissioner, she's like, I, I don't know why these foreign dignitaries are hanging people like Batman. But she goes to that. And then we have a backup. And the backup just feels why, like, why okay, do we have a backup? Why? So we can charge. Why is Dan more. Waters giving us this bullshit where all of a sudden, like, when Damian Wayne was a little boy, Talia told him a story about this man who found a skeleton of a woman who was his wife. And for some reason, the skeleton lady in his mind really scared him, gave him nightmares. And Talia's like, no son of mine's going to be a pussy and wet the bed because of his nightmares. You need to get over this shit, son. So Damien decided he's going to read up all he can, control his dreams, and fight back at this monster skeleton woman of his dreams until one day it comes to, like, you know, to be a real thing in the waking world as well and scare the shit out of him. I don't like it's such a weird thing that doesn't matter at all because even when this is happening, is Damien Wayne when he's 10 years it's old? The past. It's years ago. Like, it doesn't matter. It, all this is is the intermezzo's done. You already did some things before. Maybe. Maybe what would have been a better play is to have a backup and show a little more of ours and maybe totally. work in the deal and Greece and, and helping Catwoman. Maybe that would have solved some of your questions Works and you would have seen that. But having this and awful art backup? to me, this art is just awful. And it's a bullshit backup of a 10 year old Damien scared of the skeleton lady. Got skeleton ladies in the mind. I'm scared shitless of the skeleton lady right now, Eric. If this skeleton lady showed up, I'd be like, what the fuck? And then you, you just get... Well, around here, would be a crackhead. The well... Well, yeah. Be I'd be afraid. The, I'm like, how the hell did I get to the bush house there? The, the deal here also was like, ooh, we'll have a wow moment of him dressed in the Batman 666 outfit, but the, the art's so bad, you, you barely panel. would see it. You yeah. don't care. You barely see it anyway. So it's really bad, and it's nonsense. It's just to up the price. They need a bet. They don't need it. And again... Extend the deal and show us some of that ours and stuff. Or, but or no. t- exactly, I'm saying not even extend the deal. If you want to have a backup, tell a relevant story to what we're dealing with. Yeah, this is so out of nothing. Uh, to me, it's this might have been. Uh, this could have been written just for this issue in my mind. This has to be. Hey, do we have anything that would connect to Talia? Or hey, anything? we got any bullshit? I'm telling you, we have Talia in the issue. So, oh, let's throw this in because look, Talia. She was kind of mean to Damien when he saw fucking skeleton ladies of the dream world. I'm like, all right, that's bullshit. <laughs> what do you give this overall? Overall, I give us a 5.5 out of 10. I love the two face bits in this, but overall, the ending to the intermezzo does nothing for me because Batman gets out of town and becomes a castaway on Gilgan's Island. Talia, I'll go as far as I'm concerned. Dr. Hurt and freaking Flamingo shy, show up, but does nothing for me right now because it's just go make him into that bar battle. It's just like I always want to do it. Just. It's a weird story, and Talia in this is just the worst. I'm telling you, when you brought up the idea of her and Catwoman talking, it just gave me flashbacks earlier today the day where I just like wanted to do anything but read Detective Comics. There's still some fun stuff to be had here, especially if you're like, you know, invested in Ram V's freaking long ass Oregon story, but it just, it's just more of the same where it doesn't really move forward anything for the story. And again, Batman just looks like he's incompetent at everything he does here. And when you get to the end, you have Dr. Hurt, you end up having... You're right, I'm going down to a five. Well, I'm I'm a five. And you have Flamingo. Bullshit as well. Because when you have this, uh, like all of a sudden, you start getting that idea of like, all right, like now you're obsessed with Grant Morrison, just like Chip Zdarsky. Where you, why is Flamingo just becoming like such a huge thing? It, it is like everybody. Uh, but... Just to throw that in. Anybody who's writing Batman has to grant Morrison the shit up at some point. Even Scott Snyder had to do it. And, yeah, yeah, it's true. But it, when he did it, he actually had Grant Morrison join him to do it. So that was a little bit of a crazy play. I just like where I'm like, okay, Dr. Hurt, he's doing like like those crazy vert push-up deal while also doing mind <laughs> What the fuck is going he's on? He's Le- Leaping around, talking to the face eater. Let's go, face eater. I'm like, get the fuck out of here. But yeah, five out of ten for me. That's not a fuck you five, right, Eric? I I can't. No, hit. that's not a fuck you five. Uh, Two Face was way too sweet in this I issue. I thought maybe Sammy Hagar was going to come in and, and join you. us, Eric, but he is not. But that's it for the first section of book. Do you have that? Up. Do you have that one part clip that you could use? Yeah, I do. I do. Okay, so maybe you have later. It right now I do have it now. Yeah, I do. No, not maybe later. Let's just do it now. Fuck you five. Why not? It's- 
a three. It was Sarah. worth it. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a fuck you five two, Eric. Take that. Uh. Fuck you five. All right, Sammy. He don't like it. it. Hey, all you weirdos. If you like comic book shows, podcasts, videos, please check the description of this video where you can see links to all of our podcast shows, websites, all of that. And if you want to help us out for everything that we do, you can click on that Patreon link in the upper left-hand corner and check out our Patreon where you can go right now and get a seven-day free trial to see all the stuff that we do, shows that are Marvel, DC, indie, manga, and even more. So check all that out, and I'll talk to you all later. Weird Science is the revolution.